Now on the night team, they were never lost in space, but certainly stuck there, hovering above Earth for a period of time they never expected. The NASA, NASA astronauts who arrived at the International Space Station on the Boeing Starliner are finally home tonight. What was supposed to be an eight-day journey was delayed more than nine months. But Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore's final leg is thankfully over. Here's ABC's Zoreen Shaw. And splashdown, Crew 9 back on Earth. Tonight, the long wait is over. The SpaceX Dragon capsule returning astronauts Sonny Williams, Butch Wilmore from space, astronaut Nick Haig, and Russian cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov also back on U.S. soil. Their eight-day journey turned into more than nine months, the two seen minutes after being helped out of the capsule, waving and smiling as they're put on a stretcher as they adjust to gravity and being back on Earth. Officials praising the mission. Of course, we're overjoyed. I, I watched every crew member come out of the vehicle today. Post-landing, it was great to watch Nick, Sonny, Butch, and Alexander come out of Dragon and, and smile and wave as they came out of the vehicle. Prior to departure, Williams and Wilmore waving goodbye to the International Space Station crew remaining behind. And undocking confirmed. Their SpaceX capsule making its 17-hour flight home. The two remained in space for 286 days after the Boeing Starliner was sent back to Earth after the craft faced technical problems. They're working very hard on the ground to make sure that we uh, will be able to come home before too long. NASA said in an emergency scenario, they could have gotten them out using one of the spacecrafts docked to the station, but were waiting for another crew to relieve them. Wilmore, who has two daughters, one in college and another in high school, talked about the toll of being away for so long. My daughters, I'm, I'm going to miss a, most of her senior year in high school. Yeah. Williams, during her time in space, breaking the female record for the most time on spacewalks, 62 hours and six minutes. Now back on Earth, they'll go through a medical evaluation along with their fellow crew members before being reunited with their families. Zorin Shah, ABC News, Los Angeles.